Mlet, the most forested island in Adriatic, is a treasure trove of historical and natural wonders. Secluded and untouched, this island is a heaven of mysticism, olive trees, vineyards, and lush forests. Its remote location, away from main tourist trails, makes Mliet ideal for exploring magnificent nature and for peacefully enjoying the unspoiled beauty of Croatian seaside. Popular among beach lovers, history enthusiasts, and outdoor thrill seekers, Mliet is a destination where you can experience a unique connection with the authentic culture, tradition, and natural splendor. From the stunning national park in the north to the beautiful Saplonara beach in the south, the island is covered with dense, primeval Mediterranean forests, offering a unique wilderness experience. Welcome to Mliet, one of the most diverse and exotic islands of whole Croatia and probably the southernmost bigger and inhabited island in Croatia. I don't dare to say the most beautiful island because Croatia is full of amazing islands but definitely it's one of the most beautiful ones. Right now I am on the southeasternmost tip of the island where hiking trail all around the net starts and here is beautiful Blache Bay, probably the best beach of whole island in front of me and the best part, place to start adventure around Mnet. So let's go and explore this amazing island. Salplonara Beach is a tranquil coastal area located at the southeastern tip of Mliet Island. It offers an unspoiled environment where visitors can enjoy the soothing sound of waves and the chirping of the birds. Settlement of Mlet is Babino Polje, which is around me and which is actually exactly in the middle of the island. 
it's the place where you will find the best pizza and cafe bar on the island and right there down is the path towards one more not to miss attraction of net it's odyssey cave cave in which is believed that odyssey on his uh, adventure which is described in homer app found its rescue place and which is very interesting natural cave only available from the sea there is little path into cave from the top as you will see but the best experience you will have if you swim into it bear in mind that there is open sea and you should go only when there is no big waves or storm or high tide Costa Rica, which is behind me, is one of many beautiful little villages right next to the sea or something in the countryside of Mnet with traditional old architecture, very nice little cove and there is a little beach, everything what you need for perfect vacation and almost without tourists.
right now I'm on northwestern side of Mlet, where is National Park. It's beautiful forest, amazing little coves and islets, and very famous by its two nice lakes on which there is also little island with Franciscan monastery, Benedictine monastery, sorry. Right now I'm in a little village Polace. There are three villages, Polace, Pomena and Govejari. And here is one of the best preserved Roman villa which still stands in Croatia. Mlet National Park is a large area that borders two saltwater lakes, Veliko Jezero large lake and Malo Jezero small lake, which stretch for about 4 km. In the middle of Veliko Jezero is a small island of Melita, Sveta Maria, home to a former Benedictine monastery from the 12th century. Boats connect the island to both sides of the lake. Well-marked paths encircle lakes and are ideal for cycling or strolling along the pleasant, shaded routes. For stunning views of the Mliet coastline and the park, hike up to surrounding hills. The best view is from the Montokuts Observation Point, 